The pen consists of eight cattle panels. All with wire or hardware cloth attached to them so the rabbits can't get through. And then along the ground we have one foot of hardware cloth. It's I believe half inch by half inch. One side is attached to the cattle panel and then the other side is staked down by tent stakes so the rabbits can't dig under or squeeze through the bottom. In the middle we have a tractor of sorts. Because we're only trying three rabbits for now to see if it works good, we can't move one of the big tractors in like I originally planned, so we have this smaller tractor that'll be temporary, and then once we decide that it works and we figure out all the kinks and we move all the rabbits in there, we'll be able to have one big tractor. There is a water jug in the tractor so the rabbits can drink, and then there's grass and that's all they have. It's very big and we're going to see how long it takes them to eat it and see if it works, see if they escape. It'll be very interesting to see if my idea actually works. And then we have two bits of rebar kind of holding the middles up because it was kind of being a little flimsy. To get into the pasture pen, I originally thought we'd have, you know, one cattle panel as the door. You could swing it out and swing it back in. But if we did that, we couldn't stake the wire to the ground. And then if we couldn't do that, they might escape. So I decided to not do that. And instead we have a bucket and you step over onto that. It is kind of hard though and you have to be on your tiptoes so I want to see if I can get like a taller thing because if it's just like a little bit taller it would be much easier. But for now that's what we have and it's working. I need to find something better but that's all we got for now. So in these rabbit tractors right now we have three different colors of rabbits. We have black ones and orange ones and black torts. So I want to have one rabbit of each color in this pasture pen. It will be nice to tell them apart if we need to. So now I get to pick three random babies from these two tractors, the lucky ones to get to try the pasture pen for, I don't know if it's going to be a few days or a few weeks, we're going to try it and make sure it works well before we put everyone in. I would much rather have three rabbits escape and have to catch them and risk them dying or getting eaten or something than having all of my grow outs escape. So I set the bucket down to get in and one of them jumped out. So this is the first rabbit in the pasture pen, but he's on the stool. So I, want to, I need to get him off and then get myself in and then let the other two out. Okay, come on, Bubba. Come on. There. There you go. Then these two. Come here. Come on. There. You guys are nice and big. And then this one is a little small, but that's okay. The test subjects are out. They're eating. No one has escaped yet. I'm going to sit here and watch them for a little bit and see how they do. So I came in here to fill up the water and one of them came in the shade and is now eating in the tractor. So this door of the tractor is open so they can go in and out as they please. They have shade and then everything else is closed that they can come out here. At night I'm planning on locking them up in the tractor because this pen is not predator proof. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Though it might be hard. We'll just have to see. So when I weaned these babies out of the colony a long time ago and first put them in tractors, I checked their genders and marked it accordingly on their ear. So this one has a blue mark of just Sharpie on his ear, so that's a boy. The black one also has blue Sharpie on his ear. And the orange one is a girl. She and this one figured out how to get out of the tractor, which is good. Good job, baby. You guys, this makes my heart so happy. They're so cute. And so running around and awesome stuff. Oh, it's so good, isn't it, baby? It's kind of funny how they use the wire as a little path. I don't know if they like running through 
the regular stuff. Maybe that's because they're used to being on wire, like in the tractor, or what. But there's like the little wire path. It's so cute. Okay, so it's lunchtime, babies. I'm going to stop watching you and go eat lunch, and then I'll come back and say hi. Okay, bye. I made sure to take the stool out so the rabbits don't actually jump on the stool and then jump out. It's evening now, and I'm going to try to put the bunnies in their tractor for the night. You guys going to behave yourselves and go in quietly and nicely? Or is it going to be hard? Okay, so the orange one and the black one were really easy to just pick up real quick and put in the tractor, but this guy is being very difficult, and I haven't been able to catch him. Uh, so I'm going to try something else. So I grabbed a fishing net, but that's going to be a last resort. What I'm going to try now are peas. These are just dried peas as a bribe. So all three rabbits are now in the tractor for the night, so they are protected from predators. The bribe didn't work because they don't really know, you know, what the sound of a shaking bucket means. And he wasn't at all tempted by the peas because they haven't had grain for a super, super long time. So I tried catching him with a net and that didn't work. Uh, we have a very small net and it's kind of short. So we would, if we wanted to use this method, we have to get a bigger net that was, had a longer handle. What ended up working was we had this bucket here randomly and then this door, we opened it so it was kind of like a, a wall and I chased him around and then he kind of got to the wall and just ran right in and that really worked very well. So I'm thinking that might be the way we do it in the future. I set up, I don't know, a, a piece of wood or maybe metal or a part of a cattle panel or I think we have some of the old dog crate or something to like make a funnel. Or like a wall, maybe like a funnel, yeah. You start right, right here, you go to like right there, and then you have this door open, and then you chase all the rabbits around into the funnel. That'd be very easy. You wouldn't scare or startle the rabbits, you're just walking and they're going in front of you. And you don't need grain every night to get them to go where you want them to go. So that worked today, and I'm hoping it works in the future. This is why I'm glad I only had three, because um, chasing dozens of rabbits into a tractor on the first day would be very hard, much harder than it was to just get one. So the only thing I have to work on, it seems, is the step stool thing and getting the rabbits in at night. No escaping, no problems. They are very super, super full, and they've enjoyed their day thoroughly, and I'm super happy with the setup and everything. I've got a few minor kinks I'm going to work on before we put all the rabbits in here, but for now, I'm going to sign off and see you in the next video. Bye! Will you say goodnight to the people? Say goodnight! Goodnight! See you tomorrow!